Hello friend, myself Rajesh from Universal Public School, Shahajini Awad. In last class, we study about financial planning in that GST. What is GST? Goods and service tax. In that, there are two types of GST. One as CGST, another as SGST. Right? CGST means Central Goods and Service Tax. SGST means State Goods and Service Tax. In that, the given they given one identification number to every dealer that is GST IN GST in means goods service tax identification number given to every dealer. Next we study how to pay GST in step wise. See here in book page number 88 they give one, one explanation and they give one example of watch see here manufacturer wholesaler retailer and customer manufacturer manufacture one watch and he decide to give watch as rupees 200 at 12 percent of gst means she decide the watch price as 200 at 12 percent including gst you see here how to find out gst into 12 divided by 100 zero zero get cancelled 24 rupees means the manufacturer given to wholesaler uh, one watch is rupees 20 224 rupees including GST means he paid direct to GST as rupees 24 means half of 12 percent 12 rupees for CGST and 12 rupees for SGST and he given to a watch to wholesaler and wholesale next step wholesaler given watch from manufacturer and he decide to give same watch as rupees 300 to a retailer at 12% of GST. Right? They put 300 into 12 divided by 100, 0, 0 get cancelled. 12, 3 is 36 rupees. See here. Wholesaler already given to GST as 24 rupees. Right? So, what do we have to do? 36 minus 24 means 12 rupees. 12 rupees GST paid to wholesaler. Right? Means 6 rupees central government and 6 rupees for state government. In next stage, Wholesaler sell the watch to retailer and retailer decide the price of watch is 400 at 12% of GST and retailer given to customer, right? And see here 400 into 12 divided by 100, 0, 0 get cancelled, 48 rupees. Already retailer give one 36 rupees to wholesaler as JST means we decide 48 minus 36 12 rupees 12 rupees JST paid by retailer to state government as well as central government see here means manufacturer decide the watch as 200 rupees and customer given the value for one watch is 448 rupees you see in the book suppose any doubt in the book then you ask me what's up next next see here 
manufacturer, wholesaler, retailer, and customer. Manufacturer, wholesaler, retailer have three members have GST in number means good service tax identification number these three members have GST in numbers see here trading between GST in holder is known as business to business in short in short B2B again this is B2B means business to business and again this is B2C in short term business to consumer or customer he given see here next input tax credit means ITC see here GST is lived and collected at every stage of trading from manufacturer to customer when traders pay GST at the time of purchase it is called input tax input tax see here, when traders pay GST at the time of purchase, purchase it is called input tax and he collect GST at the time of sell which is called output tax at the time of paying GST to the government a trader deduct, deduct the input tax from the output tax and pays the remaining tax this deduction of input tax is called input tax credit see here GST payable payable is equal to output tax minus input tax see or ITC or ITC see when when trader pay GST at the time of purchase it is input tax and when he sell the any item that is output tax next we study the salt examples see here salt example example number one see here the given mr rohit is a retailer he paid gst of rupees 6500 at the time of purchase purchase means input tax he collected gst of rupees 800 at the time of sale its output tax find his input tax and output tax what is his input tax credit and third is find his payable gst and fourth hence find the payable cgst and payable sgst see a solution of first question see here Mr. Rohit payable GST means GST paid to government by Mr. Rohit first output tax output tax means tax collected at the time of sell is rupees 8000 rupees and input tax rupees 6500 next that is input tax means ITC input tax credit as rupees 6500 next third is GST payable is equal to output tax minus ITC right output tax is 8000 minus 6500 
1500 rupees gst and fourth is sgst is equal to payable gst divided by 2 means 5 divided by 2 as 750 again same also same cgst is equal to 750 total gst is 1500 see here see here short example number 2 is that joy j company chemicals purchase a liquid soap having taxable value rupees 8000 and sold it into the consumer from the taxable value of rupees 10000 rate of gst is 18% find the cgst and sgst payable by mr j chemicals see a solution solution the given as purchase a liquid soap having taxable value as rupees 800 8000 and sold it into means when he purchase means input tax input tax input tax is equal to 18 percent of 8000 means 18 by 100 into 8000 see here 18 is rupees 1440 next output tax see input tax means ITC 18% of 10,000 10, 18 divided by 100 into 10,000 0, 0 get cancelled here therefore GST payable is equal to output tax minus ITC. ITC means input tax. See here output tax is 1800 minus 1140. Therefore, it is 360. See here. Therefore, payable GST as rupees 3. 160 rupees and CGST half of this is 180 and SGST as rupees 180. He paid to central government as well as state government as rupees 180 rupees. Total GST is 360 rupees. Next problem you saw in book. You see in the book, if suppose any doubt, then ask me. Next, we go to practice set 4.2. In practice set 4.2, question number 1, see a given. Chetana store paid total GST on rupees 1,500,000 at the time of purchase. I collected GST rupees 1,22,500 at the time of sale during 1st of July 2017 to 31st July 2017. Find the GST payable by Chetana stores. See here, at the time of purchase, that is input tax, at the time of sale, that is output tax are given see here the solution of this question solution of question number one see here 
चेतना चेतना स्टोर पेट जीएसटी एट द टाइम ऑफ परचेज परचेज मीन्स दट इज इनपुट टैक्स जब हम इफ वी टेक एनी any item from manufacturer that is input tax when we take when we sell the same item that is output tax see a chetna store paid gst at the time of purchase that is that is input tax input tax is rupees 1 500 and chetana store store collected collected gst gst at the time of at the time of sell sell that is output tax output tax is equal to rupees 122500 therefore gst payable is equal to output tax output tax minus itc or इनपुट टैक्स सी एम आउटपुट टैक्स इज वन लैख ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइन आई टी सी मीन्स वन लैख फाइव हंड्रेड आंसर इज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड सी एम रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड सी एम वेन वी taken from any item taken from anywhere that is purchasing from that is input tax when we sell that is output tax and he paid total gst as 22000 rupees total gst payable of chetana store is rupees 22000 rupees now question number to from practice set 4.2 see here question second najma is a proper proprietor of a firm registered under gst she has paid gst on rupees 12500 on purchase and collected see her purchase means input tax and collected rupees 14750 on sell means output tax see here. what is the amount of itc to be claimed what is the amount of gst payable see here they see here in the question she has paid gst on rupees 12500 on purchase this is input tax and collected 14750 on service that is output tax see here the solution of this question see the solution see a solution of second question when we purchase that is of input tax and when we sell the same item as that is output tax see a najma pay gst at the time of purchase that is that is that is input tax as rupees 
1500 this is i tc i tc means see here input tax that is itc as rupees 12500 rupees next gst collected at the time of at the time of sale that is output tax as rupees fourteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Next GST paper therefore GST paper is equal to output tax minus ITC input input means same input tax as well as ITC output tax is 14,750 minus 12,500 and rupees 2,250 rupees Nazma pay total GST as 2,250 rupees here yeah. see here GST payable to output tax minus ITC means input input tax credit output tax minus input tax credit or otherwise input tax see here total gst payable is rupees 2250 rupees next third question of practice set 4.1 see here third question is very important see amir enterprises purchase chocolate source water and pay GST of rupees 3800 and he sold those water to Akbari brothers and collected GST of rupees 4100. 4, right? Next, Maya Food Corner purchased these water from Akbari brothers and paid GST of rupees. 4500 find the amount of gst payable at every stage of trading and hence find table of cgst and sgst see here in questions there are two solutions there see here amir enterprises purchased chocolate source bottle and paid gst of rupees 3800 and Amir Enterprise क्या करता है? Water खरीदता है और वो किसको बेचता है? अकबरी ब्रदर को बेचता है। कितने में? GST as rupees four thousand one hundred means Amir Enterprise purchases chocolate source water and paid GST of purchasing tax means that is input tax and he sold to अकबरी ब्रदर means that is output tax. See here. And Mayak Food Corner purchased these bottles from Akbari Brothers. Means this is again output tax. Find the amount of GST payable at every stage of trading and hence find payable of CGST as well as SGST. See here the solution of third question. What? Amir, Amir Enterprises purchase. Purchase chocolate sauce water waters waters I pay 
GST at the time of purchase at the time of purchase at the time of purchase means that is input tax that is input tax rupees 3800 and Amir Enterprise sold these bottle to Akbari Brothers. See here. Amir Enterprises sold these bottles. These means chocolate sauce bottles. These bottles to Akbari Brothers and collected GST GST that is output tax rupees rupees 4100 see here Amir Enterprises purchased chocolate source of water and he paid GST as means input tax as rupees 3800 and he sold to Akbari Brothers and he collected GST as rupees 4100 means that is output tax therefore GST GST payable GST payable is equal to output tax minus ITC input tax credit output tax is 4100 minus 3800 that is 300 therefore CGST is equal to GST divided by 2 and SGST is equal to GST divided by 2 means 300 divided by 2 and 300 divided by 2 means rupees 150 and rupees 150 see here purchase under enterprises total tax is 3 rupees 300 rupees and he paid to central government as 150 and state government as 150. In next step, next step, see here, when we purchase any item that is input tax and we sell this item to anyone that is output tax. Next. Akbari Brothers Akbari Brothers paid GST at the time of purchase at the time of purchase a chocolate source of water Purchase at the time of purchase chocolate sauce bottle bottles to bottles that is input tax. Miss Agbay Brothers paid GSA at the time of chocolate sauce bottles. That is input tax. Akbari brother taken this bottle from Amir Enterprise. He paid GST. That is input tax as rupees. Four thousand one hundred. And this is ITC. This input tax credit. And Akbari Brothers 
Akbari brothers collected collected GST GST at the time of sell at the time of sell of bottles to to Mayank food corn that is output tax in rupees 4500 right see here akbari brothers taken from amir enterprises and he paid to gst as when he purchased from amir enterprises akbari brothers paid gst as rupees 4100 and akbari brothers taken bottle and he sold to mayan food corner and he collected gst as rupees 4500 therefore gst payment of akbari brother is equal to output tax minus ICT ICT is or input tax input tax that is 4500 minus 4100 that is rupees 400 is total GST payable of Akbari brother next we find out CGST as well as SGST of Akbari brothers therefore therefore CGST is equal to GST divided by 2 and SGST is equal to GST divided by 2 400 divided by 2 is rupees 200 and 400 divided by 2 is rupees 200 see here cgst is rupees 200 and sgst is rupees 200 next we solved in next class if any doubt then ask in whatsapp